I'm doing a one piece makeup transformation and I'm doing the character uh, Buggy, who's the clown pirate. So this is the Krylon color hairspray. The first thing that I'm doing for today's look is actually spraying my hair blue because he has blue hair. Another thing that I'm gonna prep to do is put the nose on. So Buggy does not have white paint on his face. So that makes part of this prep work a little bit easier. So I think that that'll stay on. So right now my vision is very blurry because the lights and then putting in the contacts and tearing up. So even the eyebrows, although the character has like just lines for the eyebrows, I'm actually going to make them look a little bit more realistic, even if they're lower set. To try to make my eyebrows really disappear, I'm going to be adding an orangey red to my eyebrows before I put on my next layer of glue. And the reason you do that is because when you put foundation over your hair, it looks bluish. So to cancel that out, we do like an orange or a red. It's very um, humid inside this nose. I can see why they normally do the foam. You know, I do also have these eyebrow cover prosthetics. And since I want like complete coverage, I think I'm going to add a layer of powder on top of that and then do these, which are still a little translucent. It also gives me that stronger brow bone that tends to be more masculine. So I think that there's kind of a double reason for doing this for this particular look, because these aren't totally flat, so they do kind of give a, a stronger bone right there. So I'm gonna let the glue dry on that a little bit and start to work on contouring the lower half of my face. So I'm using powders to create this softer contour. Masculine faces tend to have some, you know, uh, like deeper set and more pushed forward mouths, if that makes sense, um, and higher cheekbones. So I'm kind of just working on a combination of those things right now. I wanted to do a base layer of airbrush so that it would all kind of be the same consistency before I finish putting the foundation on so it blends just a little bit better. I keep contouring to create some of those more masculine shapes. Like I said earlier, he had some sideburns that come down, so I'm going to be painting these on. Now I'm also going to do more masculine eyebrows, which means they're lower to the eye and a little bit bushier. And as you can see, that already makes my face look a lot more masculine. And the character also has these blue lines coming up as like the face paint. So those will kind of overlap with the eyebrows. He, he does also have these crossbones that come across the face. So I will be painting those as well as the more dramatic mouth. But first I'm gonna do the mouth. I just think that looks more natural to go off of my... I think that looks 
better? Okay. You gotta fix the contouring around the mouth a little bit. Buggy also has um, this like little bit of facial hair that I'm gonna do as well. I'm also gonna be painting the skull and crossbones as well. But before I get too into that, make sure my under eyes are dark enough. I'm basically marking where the crossbones are gonna go. I feel like I'm really starting to look like him. Some of these like really key design details that make this character so cool. I am going to be painting on the shirt and the scarf and adding some details as I go along, but I'm nearly there where I want to be with the face. I'm just going to keep contouring little bits and then move on to other parts of this makeup. So I'm going to add bigger sideburns because I'm now that I'm seeing the hat on, I want more drama here. I spray painted the hat orange. I'm gonna go ahead and do the stripes. I'm gonna go ahead and start to block that out using white paint. So I'm beginning to do this um, separated head illusion. And then I'm gonna get back to painting the hat. I just blocked out the neck scarf for now while I keep working on the hat. The acrylic paint will do much better because it won't soak in as much. So I realized that originally my plan was just to use my makeup paints and that that wasn't gonna work. I also have to paint the clown symbol. And first I'm gonna black out the white and then use black paint to outline it. So as soon as that white paint dries, I'll go in with black paint to do the outline. So the hat is basically done. I'll be doing some touch-ups later, but I'm gonna really start focusing on the body now. So doing the scarf and refining just details, darkening the parts that are missing. I'm gonna be putting on the cloak. Uh, I guess that's what you would call it, a cloak. Um, and then creating the shoulder pieces. And then that will be it for the look. So here's one shoulder piece. I cut a circle and then made some cuts so that I could fold it down slightly to kind of give that illusion of those uh, strings that they have going on. So I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint them before I put them on my shoulders because I think it'll be a little hard to paint them while they're on my shoulders. So I made these shoulder pads out of cardstock. It's not my usual cardstock, so unfortunately they're a little wobbly, but I think they still work. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. This was so much more involved than I thought it would be to like such a large degree. Um, 
but I think that it being so elaborate makes it very cool and I hope you enjoyed. 